Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the next episode of the Apex Show. I hope you're great as always and I'm back here today without the microphone, without the setup and even without prepared things that I want to be speaking about today. But the biggest takeaways here from Miami, um, I wish you could see the view. I mean, I can show it to you since I'm recording this on a computer. Look at that. Beautiful view. It is sack. Okay, cool. We have that covered so we can just get into the nitty and gritty. So, uh, just finished a three day conference, literally sacrificed my entire week just to get my ass here into Miami and flying back home right away tomorrow uh, just to keep working on some stuff. I essentially sacrificed my 130 day streak of working like 16 hours a day, averaging like 2200 hours. And today I'm here in a white suit. I look like a with a nice blazer. Yeah, uh, just just kind of want to break down everything I've learned in the past three days. Literally, the speakers. And even the reason why I got my ass here into Miami is that that the caliber of speakers on Grant Cardone's conferences is always like the freaking highest. And um, the past three days, mainly because of the guests that actually came, were life transformational for me and exactly the experiences that I want to take away from my 20s and, and so, so forth. So, uh, essentially the last speaker, which ended just m more than, let's say, about an hour ago, uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger, like my biggest, one of my biggest, um, I literally have goosebumps and I had goosebumps when he went on, uh, on the stage because literally one of the biggest one of my biggest role models when I was just kind of growing up and still he's he's from a uh, country nearby was born like 100 miles away from me I made it really big in life as well as just got rechecked became the bodybuilding king and uh, since I was just starting in the gym at the age of 12 and kind of building up from there he was always the biggest like vision of mine like okay that's freaking the guy that I want to look like so just meeting the hero at least <clears throat> being like a few meters away from him and being in the same room just kind of being able to just seek the energy and uh, and get some of it for myself was uh, really a dream come true for me um yeah not sure what else to say about that like literally just mind-blowing um yeah who else like 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 so many so many like billionaires um Mike Tyson, like like literally guys that I, a lot of guys that, um, it was amazing. Like nothing, nothing to be to could be said about that. And that was even one of the biggest reasons why I even came came down here just to kind of be inside a room and uh, seek inspiration and stuff. Um, and yeah, just kind of fulfill my dreams. Like I'll rather just. Work 130 days straight. I yesterday I posted it on Instagram. I'd rather just work my ass off for 130 days straight and then just gonna do something like this, rather than just being <clears throat> doing some B level class shit and that and waste my life, waste waste pressure minutes of my life just doing some some weird stuff that I don't, don't even want to be doing. The big thing that, or the big takeaway that I kind of learned from them, all, all of these big guys, all of them were, I would say like, there were like there were a few, there was a guy who was fighting Conor McGregor, he was the youngest guy I believe on the stage, he was like 38 years old, other than that these guys were, all of them were really old, really old, like 60s, 70s, and like one of the biggest takeaways, I mean, Essentially, compared to what I'm doing and what I'm working on right now, I mean, there could have been a few strategies that I could have taken away, but like the biggest thing that I've taken away from the life perspective is just, and I've even known this before, and that's even the reason why I kind of had the approach of treating time very importantly, is that like, okay, well, essentially out of everything what you've got in life, like time is the most, impor most important commodity because, okay, great, you can have, you can have, like there was a guy that had four and a half billion in the bank. <laughs> he told it on the stage. And like four and a half billion. And, and the biggest takeaway from him was that, okay, like he has four and a half billion in the bank, but he's 80 years old, meaning that, great, I have four and a half billion in the bank, but like what essentially I'm gonna do with that. So, you only have a limited amount of time on this planet and just kinda letting this sink in and, and then approaching life from a whole different perspective where you are making decisions based on 
what exactly you want to achieve and eliminating all fear from the equation because of you knowing that like it's gonna end either way and for that reason you don't really have to be afraid of anything because like regardless of whether you end right now or in the next 60 years there's not that, that, that big of a difference in the great scope of things so yeah the importance of time that was that was kind of like a big one for me and like if you want to specifically know how uh, how i apply this and how i want to be applying it in the next few like let's say even the year which i already kind of made a decision to do so it's just kind of like spend the majority of my year actually doing stuff and working towards the things i want to be achieving and like have zero time left for doing mediocre stuff just for the sake of subscribing to some bullshit social norms so to say I'm kind of big about like really doing things that I see a meaning in and um, one of the biggest like even as I was flying here I was just writing down some notes and um, on, on my on one of my phones and like the thing that I came up with like okay like just let's just keep work doing doing the things that we're doing because they're working really great and the second biggest thing was that okay let's essentially strip down the all of the things even to to spirit pure essence so that i'm even way better i'm even even better able to focus on the stuff that's actually important so we're just getting rid of another 95 percent of all the stuff that i'm currently working on so those two were like the biggest biggest takeaways for me yeah That was that was sick. Cool. So so that, that that's as far as it goes with the with the speakers. I mean, in the US, I, I love the sales culture here. That like you have so many great salespeople here. Can't really be compared to Europe, and it's just like so much more fun down here. In entertainment and stuff is way way better. So that, that's kind of like on the better side and the on the positive side. Cool. What are the takeaways that could I share with you? I guess that even one of the biggest takeaways for me personally was just kind of like going on, going more out there and uh, like once you find that there are you after your focus, seeking as much hate as you possibly can receive because the more haters you have, the more supporters you'll receive as well. So just kind of being very polarizing in a in a certain way just like kind of doing stuff or a secret actually that you want to be doing that rather than just subscribing to some bullshit social norms once again and yeah that's pretty much that i guess like that's pretty much it i'm not sure if there's anything else that i would like to share with you i just kind of wanted to get back in touch with you since i've been recording like 130 or we have about 150 episodes of podcasts uh, just give me a sec i'm gonna turn up the ac Cool, cool, it's working. Uh, yeah, just kind of getting getting a bit sick, I guess. Not sure. From from the AC. Yeah, just just keep working and doing the stuff that you want to be working on. I'm really thinking what I'm gonna um, gonna stay in Vienna and keep my focus there, or whether I'm just gonna pack my stuff and travel to a different place maybe Cape Town or, or a different location, yeah. That's about this. Taking bets on yourself. Putting yourself in the driver place and making hard decisions, taking hard bets, leaving everything out of the table, you'll never regret it. I had, I had so much fuck ups in the past. I literally lost everything that I've caught. Um, where I've embarrassed myself and and like collecting like wins and, and losses at the same time and if if you just like win 51% of the time and lose 49% of the time you're on average you're, you're kind of growing still like similarly as if you would be able to average that with trading and trade sufficiently enough like you would you would be a winning trader but we're not talking about trading here we're more like just kind of swinging for the fences
in terms of investing into conferences and stuff, a lot of people have conferences um, and are hosting similar events. If I were in your, like if you're coming from a small country as I am, like Slovakia and stuff, I would definitely just rather invest much more capital and go to, into conferences like this. And the great scope of things, like I wouldn't say that this is the deal breaker for you that's going to make or break your success in monetary terms. Uh, if I were in your place, I would much rather focus on actual implementation and focus on like, growth in a certain point of view. Uh, but yeah, it's, it, it's like my perspective on everything is just um, for sure I'll gain much more um, perspective in the upcoming few years, but it's just about like showing up every single freaking day, having a bit of vision and being willing to get yourself into a position where you can fail as well as where you can succeed and then just kind of like minimizing the chances of your fa fucking up and just maximizing your chances of actually making it big and doing that for long enough. So that's about it. Cool guys. It was great speaking to you from lovely Miami. I'm flying back home tomorrow. Maybe I'll shoot another video for you. Maybe I won't. That's, that's, uh, we'll see how the time goes because I have a few things that I have to finish here right now. And with that being said, I'm gonna be looking forward to speaking to you more often in the upcoming few months and mainly the, the time that'll come up thereafter once I'm gonna be done with school. Three months, so let's just freaking make this happen. And uh, biggest fan, keep crushing it and never give up. Catch you later.